Welcome back to the College Cinephile. My name is Ethan, and today we're going to be going through our predictions for the major categories at the 91st Academy, Academy Awards. As I said, my name is Ethan, and I'm joined today by Marcus, Coleman, and Eric. And so we're just going to jump right into it. Um, first, we have Best Supporting Actress. We have Amy Adams for Vice, Marina de Tavira for Roma, Regina King for If Beale Street Could Talk, and Emma Stone and Rachel Weisz vote for the favorite. Marcus, who do you think is going to win? To tell you the truth, I legit think that uh, Amy Adams is my poet because Vice was a great movie. And looking at everybody else, I feel like Vice is the one that kind of got me going, okay, she, she really took her, she really got her a chance to play the role very, very well. She also so. has never won before. Yes, you are. Eric, what do you think? I, too, think it's going to be Amy Adams, even though I loved Emma Stone and Rachel Weisz so much. I really enjoyed that. But I, I think it's Amy Adams' year because she has been nominated before. And, you know, it's definitely, I think, in the cards for her. But who knows, you know? Yeah. Um, I think, you know, same thing. The favorite's really good. But I think Emma Stone and Rachel Weisz are probably going to end up splitting the vote if anyone did yeah. really like the oh, favorite. Yeah. Definitely. For my money, though, I want it to be, and I think it's going to be Regina King. Uh, yeah. It, yeah. It, if Beale Street Could Talk was my favorite movie of the year, oh and she gosh. just absolutely owns every scene she's in in that movie. She's not in it a lot, but when she is, it's just she has total control of the scene. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm uh, watching the movie. Like every time she was on screen, you could act like, oh, you felt every bit of emotion that she was putting out towards the camera. And I feel like it, if I already pick Amy Adams, like Regina King is a good, good second. I agree with mm -hmm. Coleman. I think Regina King, she's been winning at the BAFTAs and the SAGs. At least I think so. Don't check me on that. But um, mm -hmm. I do think that Regina King um, is the smart choice, especially because if Beale Street Could Talk is so underpresented mm -hmm. at the Oscars, I think this is where they'll put it in. I do too, absolutely. Regina King is fantastic. I mean, I've been watching her. I, I loved her in all her work from like 227 when she was a kid all the way up. I mean, she's just been fun to watch and watch to grow. And this year, she has been really killing it. And I just, I think that's a smart choice as Regina yeah. King, definitely. I agree. So moving on, we have Best Supporting Actor. We have Mahershala Ali for Green Book, Adam Driver for Black Klansman, Sam Elliott for A Star is Born, yeah. Richard E. Grant for Can You Ever Forgive Me, and Sam Rockwell in Vice. Vice yeah. Now, even though I don't think his performance of these was my favorite, I think Mahershala Ali is kind of a lot for this oh, one. Oh, yeah, same. Uh, Ma Mahershala Ali did an amazing job. And I just love him in everything he's in. Like, he's just a great actor, and I feel like this is, this is a year for him, too. I, I definitely um, don't disagree. And I, it's totally his, his year in terms of this film. It was really good. But I do also believe that Sam Elliott is someone that we, we can't knock out just because everybody's talking about his performance in this. It's really interesting. He's been in the game for so long. And, and uh, so if it's, a, if it's a vote for who deserves it most, some people may actually go for him. And, and you never know with the Academy, though, I think. For quality of voice alone, Sam Elliott might, should win, just because <laughs> his voice is amazing. Uh, but this is probably my least favorite category as far as the nominees go, because yeah. I, I think a couple of them are uh, maybe not undeserving, but weaker than some other performances we saw this year. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Sam, uh, Sam Elliott is really good, uh, but like people like Sam Rockwell, just kind of like, uh, SNL impersonation of George Bush. Yeah. So, but Mahershal Ali probably going to win this if one. It too. Was, if it was yeah. up to me, I would have given it to Richard E. Grant for Can You Ever Forgive Me? I thought he was fantastic in the mm. movie. That was But, really I mean, Green Book has had a whole bunch of traction, and I think, I mean, we can't count them out. Okay, moving on, we have Best Actress in a Leading Role Yalitza Aparicio for her first time ever on screen in Roma. We mm. have Glenn Close for The Wife. Olivia Colman as the queen in The Favorite, Lady Gaga in The Star is Born, and Melissa McCarthy in uh, Can You Ever Forgive Me? Now, there's, if there's one category that I believe is a genuine lock, I think it is Glenn Close for The Wife. Even if you haven't seen the movie, I mean, she's been cleaning up everywhere, even though people initially thought that Lady Gaga was going to win. And uh, she's never won before. So this is definitely a legacy award for somebody who's been in the business for this long. What do you guys think? Uh, I think I feel like Gun Close is a lock, like you said before, but a surprise for me if Melissa McCartney wins. 
like I feel like everybody will throw their hands and be like, really? That, that's that's pretty that's pretty cool to bold. they wouldn't they, yeah that's very bold for the academy to do but I feel like Glenn Close is a good lock. Glenn Close is definitely a I mean a clear lock if she doesn't win it, everyone will be like man that was her award to 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 lose and she's definitely lost multiple times or she has has not been given the award multiple times because I wouldn't necessarily call it a loss because yeah. um, no. she's got a long wonderful career but like. I also say Melissa McCarthy did fantastic, and uh, and I worry that good. she may never yeah. get a chance to have a script like this again. And same with Lady Gaga. So they're two that it, I would love for them to get the award, but I don't foresee that happening with Glenn Close kind of being in the uh, in yeah. the runs. It, it's only missing Meryl Streep, and then you go, oh, poor <laughs> Glenn. You know? I think. Uh, uh, Olivia Coleman's a bit of a dark horse here. She's mm -hmm. been getting a lot of love for the favorite too, and I think she's fantastic in it. Uh, I wouldn't mind if she won this. Uh, also, a shout out to uh, Yelitsa Aparicio. I think uh, her performance in Roma carries the movie. Like, it's, it's a really good movie on its own, but she absolutely uh, embodies that entire movie. So if she won, I would not complain. It's very well deserved, especially being her first role. Well, and it's always a, it's definitely a gift to be nominated in general. And as everyone mm. always says, oh, well, at least I was nominated. And it was wonderful. But mm. it definitely, th these are, they were all incredible. So they, that's just, it's fantastic. Women power, way yeah. to go, girls. Yeah, it's the, it's ladies. Yeah, it's, um, it's one thing if they won the award, but to be nominated itself is a really, really good thing to, yeah, to get Every one of those women were definitely deserving. Deserving of it, yeah, mm. absolutely. All right, uh, so best Actor in a leading role. We have Christian Bale in Vice, Bradley Cooper in A Star is Born, Willem Dafoe in At Eternity's Gate, Rami Malek in Bohemian Rhapsody, and Viggo Mortensen in Green Book. So uh, you talked about weakest categories for me. This is definitely it because I only like two of the performances on here, but <laughs> neither of them I think are going to win. And I know you like Vice, so even though I didn't, I think you'll be in luck because I believe that Christian Bale is going to win. Oh no, yeah, circuit. Christian Bale is a definite, uh, a definite lock for just because how much effort he put into the role. I, he definitely, definitely became Dick Cheney in this movie. He just is a great actor, uh, but I feel like Bradley Cooper and Remy Malek are basic. Uh, they're they're basically good picks for this. Uh, but I feel like for me, Christian Bale for me. You know, I, I agree. I think it's going to be Christian Bale's year. However, I really, honestly, Bradley Cooper, I think, should have gotten uh, Best Director nod instead of mm. Best Actor nod. But he's he's been in this category before, so it, it's definitely, you know, it makes sense that he would be here again. And as much as I, I loved his performance and, and dealing with people who have, you know, uh, mental, mental illness is definitely fantastic. But... I think we're right. It's going to be Christian Bale, but man, I would love it to be Bradley Cooper for sure. But the popular vote, a lot of people are talking Rami, Rami Malek. I was about to say, I think it's a two-horse race. A little bit. <laughs> Christian Bale and Rami Malek both, I think, have been getting the most buzz. I don't particularly like either of their performances, but Christian Bale will probably win it. Yeah. Okay, moving on to Best Director. Uh, we have Alfonso Cuaron for Roma, Yorgos Lanthimos for The Favorite, Spike Lee for... Black Klansman, Adam McKay for Roma, or not Roma, Vice, and Powell Palkowski for Cold War. Um, if you ask me, I really want Spike Lee to win this. I think it's a possibility, but Alfonso Cuaron is the leading choice right yeah, now. Yeah, leading choice, definitely Alfonso. But I'm with you. Spike Lee should definitely win this. Black Klansman was an amazing movie. And the directorial view is just, itself, is just a gift for the movie. Yeah, you know, Spike Lee has brought it and brought it and brought it when it comes to Oscar films and, and when it comes to groundbreaking films for for people of, of color and people who are in minorities. Man, that man is incredible. And this film is equally incredible. Um, but it, you're right, I think. Sadly, I don't think it's going to go to him. Um, I think Spike Lee deserves an award. Maybe not this year. I, I, I do think Good Alfonso call. Cuaron should yeah. win. Yeah. Uh, Roma is a beautiful movie. It is. Yes. And it's so tightly directed. You can tell that his view and like vision and artistic vision is so beautifully executed across that movie. Um, Spike Lee does deserve an award, though, so I won't be upset if he wins, but I think Quaron should win, and I think he will. And again, I'm still super bummed that Bradley Cooper was shunned yeah. in this particular category, because that film, in my opinion, outside of all the other awards, it really just screamed out Best Director to me. Yeah, I absolutely. agree. So finally, we have Best 
picture. Yes. The nominees are Black Panther, Black Klansman, Bohemian Rhapsody, The Favorite, Green Book, Roma, A Star is Born, and Vice. So, Marcus, who do you think is going to take it all? <laughs> Okay, this year was amazing for uh, for film, and I feel like personally, I think that Vice would win, but I really, really want Black Panther to win, just because it set history, and I would really like to see that happen. I think Black Panther is a favorite. I think you're right; it was groundbreaking in a lot of ways. Um, I think a popular favorite again is Bohemian Rhapsody, yes. but I think that's you know because of music. Green Book was fantastic. Um, I loved A Star Is Born. I mean, man, did I love A Star Is Born, but Vice was really good. So this one is, is a tough call. Um, you know, you really kind of have to listen to who is saying what. And, and it, I'm a bit of a contrarian opinion, I guess, because I, I don't like about half the field in this category. Oh. I think about half the movies aren't very good. And I agree have not nominated. Mm -hmm. yeah. what? Um, mm -hmm. I didn't like Bohemian Rhapsody, Green Book, uh, Vice, and uh, uh, Black Klansman all that much. Uh, Black Klansman's mm -hmm. still pretty good, but I still think there were ones that were maybe more deserving. Mm -hmm. um, Black Panther, I think, has a chance at winning, and I think if it does, like, really good for the Academy for recognizing it, um, and it, I mean, it's deserving, but I think Roma should probably uh, take this category, yeah. and I think it probably has the most buzz as yeah. far as uh, the potential to win. The one that I think has the second most chance, and I will be very upset if it wins, is Green Book. Mm -hmm. Green Book has gotten a lot of, um, a lot of attention and buzz at one of the Golden Globes. So yeah. I think if anything has a chance of stealing it from Roma, I think it is probably Green, Green, Green Book. Book. Yeah, definitely. And well, and we can't knock out the favorite, even though it's probably not going to win. That film was funny. We, it was yeah. interesting. We it was we well can done. we can knock out the favorite. The yeah. favorite yeah. is my favorite <laughs> yeah. movie on this. We list. can knock like, it out. It's yeah. a very very it good movie. Good movie. Yeah. It's genuinely my favorite movie. <laughs> it was no way it'll win. It's not going to. It's not going to be. It will be, mark my words, it will be either Roma, Green Book, or Black Panther. Yeah. Yes, yeah. definitely. Probably, yeah, and uh, honestly, it could be anything at this Although point. Although if yeah. a Star Wars born gets, it wouldn't be a it wouldn't full be surprise. surprise. Yeah, it wouldn't be a surprise either way. Let's be honest, probably not. The, this yeah. Oscar season has been insane, and the, and the awards haven't even started yet. This yeah. whole <laughs> award season has been crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I just, you know, I, it's incredible to see what's going on. And it's just like, sometimes you just want to edit away some of the things that people are saying rather yeah. than part of the awards show. <laughs> but no matter what, uh, we will be there next yeah. Sunday. Yeah. Watching Ooh. the Academy Awards. Better or worse. Yeah. Better, Better, or, worse. Or, better or worse. And uh, right now we're going to go into the uh, Cinematography and Editing Awards. All right, so thank you for watching our Oscar predictions. Do you agree with us? Do you disagree with us? What are your predictions? Leave a comment down below. Click on the annotation to check out some more videos from us. And definitely check back with us next week because we're going to be doing a follow-up on our reactions to the award winning. Leave us a like, subscribe, and we will see you next time.